We were supposed to be winning the league this year, but with only two games left, we're scrambling to get a top half finish. Can we get those two wins today versus Geisley and Gateshead in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 15 of the Kingsling Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, two big games to finish off this season today against Geisley away and then Gateshead at home at the Walks. And they're two games that we really do need to be winning because as things stand, we have not got a top half place in the league it's been a very disappointing season we were supposed to be winning the league but we're 28 points off that and we're currently 13th in the league so yeah we really need a couple of wins today let's have a look at the results since you was last with me for the very disappointing Stafford game 3-0 defeat we played like utter trash if you haven't seen it, if you want to see me lose me temper, there's going to be a link somewhere, either up there or in the comment or in the description, whatever, for that video. And yeah, very, very disappointing performance that was. Let's just move on quickly before I lose my temper again. And then after that, we had a 1-0 win against Elfreton. As you can see, we changed our formation to a 4-4-2. And it's gone quite well since we have gone to that. Adam Marriott got himself a goal in the game against Elfreton. So that got us a win there from what was a better performance. It wasn't brilliant, but we won. At this point of the season, now it's all just about wins. So thankfully, we got one there. But then after that, we had a 0-0 draw against Stourbridge. Nobody really played well, apart from our defenders, Ollie O'Dwyer and Chris Smith, who, as you can see, they got a 7.3 and a 7.5. So that tells you what the game was about, really. We was under the cost for most of it, but we escaped with a 0-0 draw. So I'm very happy with that. And then after that, it was a 2-0 defeat against Blythe Spartans. Blythe are becoming a little bit of a bogey team for us, I believe. Because I think they beat us earlier in the season. Yes, they did. They beat us in the FA Cup. And I think they beat us as well in the league. Yes, they did. So, yeah. Bit of a bogey team for us, Blythe Spartans. They're doing quite well in the league, if I remember rightly. Uh, no, they're 11th. So, I don't remember rightly. My memory is absolutely shot. It has been a few days since I've last played this save, so yeah, memory not the best at the minute. And then, but and then after that, we had a two-nil win against Gloucester. Marriott again with a goal, and his and his tag team partner up top, Odyssey Spy Rides with our second. Very nice performance there. Both strikers playing well, and both finally starting to score goals. So that was very very nice to see. And then after that, Marriott again, he is definitely back at the right time. Hopefully he can carry that on today as he got us our one and only goal versus Southport. Very decent goal it was. And yeah, we are playing well now. It's just frustrating that it's taken this long to get here. Where would we be if I'd have gone with a 4-4-2 earlier in the season? Maybe we might be in the playoffs. You never, ever know. But, yeah, let's show you the uh, club vision. And there it is. We are on course to work within wage budget because I think you might have seen it on the home screen. We are £1,100 per week within our budget. So, very nice that. I'll show you these signings as well after we've had a look at the club vision. And as well as that, we're disappointing so far in getting a top half for the league. So, yeah, kind of need the wins today, people. And then we got to the first round of the FA Cup, so we passed that. We failed in the FA Trophy, but that is only a preferred, so hopefully that's not going to be that important. And like I said in the last episode, my contract now doesn't expire until the end of next season. So I'm hoping that might be the decisive factor that lets us keep our job. And we're currently on a C-plus for our manager performance. 
I think a couple of wins today, and we could be, we could be what, maybe a B, something like that. That would be rather splendid. And so, yeah, let's have a look at them signings that we've brought in. Romain Mundell from Tottenham. These are all free transfers. And he looks quite decent. As you can see, our scouts give him a 96 rating. He's a 17-year-old central midfielder. He looks decent. 13 first touch, 13 technique, 13 vision, 12 for decisions, acceleration is 13, and stamina is 11. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with him. He's still young. He's going to definitely improve over the next couple of years if we can keep hold of him. And then from Arsenal, we've got Levy Lang. He's a 75 rating from our scouts. He's a central defender, 18 years old, 15 heading, 11 tackling. Mentals, maybe not the best. Now I'm looking at him again. But like I say, he's 18, he's young. He should hopefully be okay for Dan at this level. He's got good pace, good acceleration, good jumping reach. So yeah, he's another one who hopefully should come in next season and do a decent job. And then from Chelsea, just to finish off our raid of London clubs, Xavier Simons. He's an 86 rating from our scouts. He's another central midfielder. 10 for passing, 12 for tackling, 12 for anticipation and aggression. Pace of 14, strength of 13. And so yeah, he's another one who hopefully... Keep the team young, a lot of energy, a lot of running around. Should hopefully be alright for next season. And so with all that said and done, how about we have a game of football, people, yeah? That sound good? Let's get into the team for today's game. The team is looking like this. We're sticking with the 4-4-2. Barden in goal. Lewis Richards at left back. Smith and Fryer keeping their places in the centre of the defence. Seckleford on the right-hand side of our defensive four. And then in the midfield, Kelly on the left. Dronfield and Parsons in the centre. Dronfield playing as box-to-box. -box, Parsons as the Mazala. And Brown is our winger on the right-hand side. And then up top, we've got the finally free-scoring Adam Marriott playing as a poacher alongside our deep-lying forward Odyssey Spy Rides. And on the bench, we've got Josh Barnes, Jay Richards, Louis Swan, Alfie Payne and Joe Parker. So, yep, let's get into the game. We are the favourites for this game. A little bit surprising that, but I suppose our form has been better as of late. We're 5-4 to four to win the game. We've won three of our last five. Geisley have only won one drawn three and lost the other one so yep yeah, maybe you can see why we're the favorites let's go and crack on i'm really feeling confident for this one here we are in the dressing room let's go and do the usual get the assistant to set the instructions for the opposition and let's go assertive the media have been on your back for ages and that's got most of the lads motivated but not adam marriott so we're gonna talk to marriott we're gonna say i have faith in you and now he's motivated. That's very good to see. And yeah, what should we go for for this? Oh, I'm feeling confident. You know what? I'm, I'm going to be bold. 3-0. 3-0 to Kingsley is what I'm saying. First highlight of the game. And it's the Geisley keeper kicking it away. And we win it back. Kelly with it. He tries to go long. But their man, Benchef, intercepts. And now it's Spencer in the middle of the park for Geisley. Goes wide to Mooney. And is he going to cross it in? He does. And oh, it's in there to Anderson. And that's my prediction. Out of the bag. Early doors. Very nice goal there from Anderson. And the defending, not the best. Spencer with the ball out wide. Goes to Mooney. And he's crossed there. And who is there looking after Anderson? Absolutely nobody. Really hope this is not going to be another... Really ridiculous performance like the one against Stafford. As all immediately following that, we've got the ball. Barden goes very short to fire. He goes long and just gives it away. Why is he doing that? But finally, we get it back. George Brown to Sheckleford. He goes long and nope. Good it's with the interception, but we win it back again. It's a lot of back and forth here. Parsons to Dronfield. Goes wide to George Brown. And George Brown, is he going to cut inside? Nope. Dronfield to Parsons. 
We need Brown to make a run, but we don't. And instead, Kelly has it on the left-hand side. Can Kelly cross it in? He does, but it hits their man. Goes back to Kelly. He crosses it again. Goes to George Brown, and we're level. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, Georgie Brownie. Do, 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 do. Oh, Georgie Brownie has made it 1-1. One, one. And what a very nice goal that was. It took us a couple of attempts to get the ball in the box. But once we did, George Brown with the volley. And their keeper had absolutely no chance. Well, those are the only two highlights of the first half of the game. It's finished 1-1 one, one at half time. And yep, yeah, six shots they've had, two are eight. Four shots on target, two are five. 55% of the ball we've had. So yeah, it's been a very even game. Hopefully we can break them down and get all, get the win in the second half. And we're going to go passionate. We've been the better team here. Try and lie to them. No, no reaction. They don't believe that bullshit whatsoever. You weren't that bad. And you weren't that bad. And yeah, do we go attacking just yet? No, no, I don't want to risk it. A draw would be better than a loss. Bloody Michael Owen punditry there for you. But yeah, leave it as it is. Maybe go attacking when there's only like 20, 25 minutes left. Oh, immediately in the second half, Geisley with a corner and Spencer with the header. But that goes over the bar. 10 minutes gone in the second half. Geisley with the goal kick. He plays it long. And now it goes to Marriott. He's got a man out wide. Kelly. Kelly is on. Kelly is in. Can he shoot? He does shoot. But Allison with the save. And it goes over the bar. And now Dronfield with the corner. Crosses it in. And it goes away. Kelly with the ball. Can he play it out wide? He does. It goes to Dronfield. Two, oh man, they're about, Dronfield was offside. Alright guys, 20 odd minutes left to go in the game. We're going attacking because as it stands on the league table, we are five points off 12th. So we would be finishing highest of 13th, which would be a very disappointing result for the season. So we need to try and push for the win today. We're going to put Louis Swain on, on the left hand side. I know Kelly has put the assist in, but I think Swain might be able to do something for us. And we're going to put him on attack. And Alfie Payne as well, on for Parsons. And what is Payne's favourite position? Deep line playmaker. Let's go advanced playmaker. And actually, you know what? Let's put Swain and Brown up like that. Go for... What do we change? What do we change? I think, I think we leave the passing as it is. And in transition, we go distribute it to flanks. And just try and see if we can just get a cross into the box. We need Marriott to get a goal. He's been quite quiet today. Oh, 18 minutes left. We've got a corner ball. Louis Swain with a header. And that's just gone over. We've now gone very attacking. Please let something happen here. We need a miracle in the last 10 minutes. Five minutes left in the game. Allenson with the goal kick, or the free kick for them, sorry. Richards gets the ball, plays it over the top. Goes to Marriott. Marriott shoots, and where has he gone? Whoa. Marriott off camera would have buried that. Oh, we're going again. Now it's Sheckleford with it, to Payne. Back to Sheckleford. And can, what can he do with a ball? He goes long. Marriott is onto it again. Now put the ball home. How? How is our top scorer missing two chances like that? Again, Allenson with another goal kick. We get it back again. And Fryatt takes his time with the ball there. Shackleford goes long. Can Spyrides do it? Can Spyrides do what Marriott can't? No, he can't. Oh, It's not going to happen, people, is it? It's not going to happen. And now another corner. Gets headed away. Goes to Payne on the edge of the box. He goes for shot but it's blocked. And I think that might be it. Oh, no, maybe not. The highlight continues. Richards with the ball into Swain. 
He tries to cross it. Why he's crossing it when he knows he's got the man there, I don't know. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh. Oh, 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 that's not good. That is not good. Uh, you are unlucky. Just try and keep the morale up. Uh, yeah, just leave it at that. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be in a job. I don't know if I'm going to be in a job at the end of this. Well, Telford have won the league. Is That's what we should have been doing. But, oh well. Geisley have avoided relegation. And, yep, teams have secured their playoff spots. FC United, Chester, Kidderminster and Curzon. And so, alright guys, I'm going to be back with you in a minute for the Gateshead game. See you in a second. Okay, we're back for the Gateshead game. And here is the team. Only the two changes, both of them in midfield. David Embala miraculously has made it back for the last game of the season. He's fit, but he's not match sharp. So we're going to start him. We're going to see how he gets on for the first 45 minutes, an hour, something like that. And then see how he feels at the end of that time. And then see if we need to take him off. But it's a really big boost to have him back for this last game of the season. And then Parsons as well. It's not really a change in lineup, but he's changed from a Mazala on support to a Mazala attack. And Dronfield has changed from a box to box to a ball winning midfielder on defend, just to try and make us a little bit more secure at the back. And so, yep, yeah, guys, here we go. Last game of the season. All right, we're in the dressing room, so. I'm gonna go. And not, I know a lot of you. I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened when we last played Gateshead. That's got most of the lads motivated. Again, let's try and get Marriott motivated. Not that it worked in the last game. He looks happy this time. Maybe that's what we've got to do. Get him happy and get to get him scoring. But let's go kick off the game. What predictions do I want to make now? I got the last one completely wrong. Two 0 us. 2-0 us, hopefully. That would be rather nice. 10 minutes in, it's Gateshead with the first highlight. And it's a free-kick goal. It's a beautiful goal from Jack Brown. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is the worst possible scenario. We don't want this at all. Almost 20 minutes gone and it's Gateshead again. This tactic was working so well the other day. Why is it just suddenly died again? Mayon with the ball. He crosses it in. And it's 2 Oh, it was almost 2 0 there to them. Moore to Greenfield. And he plays it out wide to Moore. And it is 2 0. It's a hit the post. It is 2 0. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what do we do? Oh, it's 2 0 in 20 minutes. I'm getting sacked. I, I can hear the fans singing, getting sacked in the morning, sacked in the morning. And oh no. Oh, I'm panicking here. I'm panicking here. We're changing up some of the tactics. We're going for shorter passing but higher tempo. Hit early crosses. I might take play out of defence off actually. I said no, we'll leave that one on. And then in transition, we're counter pressing, distributing quickly to our full backs. And then in the out of possession, sorry, we're going higher defensive line, but a lower line of engagement. And yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Let's let's click on and let's see what happens. 25 minutes in, Sheckleford to Spyrides. Spyrides with the ball goes back to Sheckleford. He crosses it in. Ian, is it going to get to Embala? No, it's not. Moore gets there first. And we, and they clear it away, sorry. Smith with the ball to fry it. And Embala is unable to win it there. Dronfield back to Smith. It goes all the way back to Barden. At least we're keeping the ball. Something has got to happen here soon, surely. Spyrise loses it out there, but Parsons does get it on the interception. That pass was awful. I said sort of passing, people. I said sort of passing. I don't know what all this long ball stuff is about. Brown to Greenfield to Gibbons. And we head it away again. All a lot of back and forth. 
is making me very nervous here. As now Gates said, they're coming forward. Please don't make it free. Please don't make it free. Please don't make it free. Preston to Tavares. He's going to make it free. It is free. Oh, I hope that new contract saves us. I hope that new contract I signed in mid-season saves us. Because this is a ridiculous performance. Oh. Ah. That didn't go well, did it, lads? 3-0 down. I think there's only one thing for it now. There is literally only one thing for it. We are going 4-3-3. Uh, get Brown off for Alfie Payne and get Joe Parker on for David Mbala he's not fit, never should have started him and so Marriott we want in the middle as the poacher and then we want two deep lying forwards here I think both of them both of them on support and then yeah in fact, have I got my 4-3-3 saved from my other save? Yes, I have. So, so this is the one I've been using in my offline Everton save. And it's been working really well on there. So, you never know. Last 45 minutes. 4-3-3. Oh, I don't know what to say to the lads. Let's go passing it. Uh, everyone, everyone is expecting to see much better from you. No reaction. They're not playing for me anymore, are they? They are not playing for me anymore. Let's go. Might be the last 45 minutes of my time at Kings Lynn. A few minutes into the second half, Gateshead have the ball again. And they keep it. Barrow with the ball. Can we win it back off him, please? Come on. One goal now would be nice if we can just get the ball back. Ali with the boy over the top. Tavares is going to make it four. Oh my gosh, I'm so getting sacked. What do you think it's going to be now? We beat these 8-2 earlier in the season. So are they going to score eight now to get their revenge? I've got to leave it attacking. I can't do anything else. Fire with the ball. Nope, they win it back. Payne just gifts it to Mahon. What was that about? Brown, why we're just there's just no fight going on here. Yan Fam with the ball crosses it. Goes to Barrows in oceans of space. And now no, we're just not even trying to get the ball back. We're putting in the least amount of effort possible. More with the ball. Tavares, that's five. No, it's not Barden with the save. Oh, Greenfield with the corner, crosses it in, Fryett heads it away, goes to Brown, wide to Greenfield, and he plays it in, but we win it back, miraculously we make an interception, and Parsons is away from his man, can, oh referee, that's got to be a red, that has got to be a red, nope, just a yellow there, half an hour left, Barden with a goal kick, and goes to nobody in a blue shirt. But Smith does win it on the second attempt. Richards with the ball. And, yep, just give it away. And Richards is off. Richards is off. We're down to ten men. If I keep my job now, it's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle now. Uh, stick stick with a two up, stick with a three up top. Sorry, four two three, extremely direct passing. Suit on sight, counter press. Why not? And yep, yep, yep. Much higher, def much higher engagement, much higher defensive line, defensive width wide. Why not? Let's just try and get a goal. Just one goal would be nice. Barrow with the ball. Throws it to his man. He gets it back. Barrow down our left-hand side. Crosses it in. Payne heads it away. Goes to Yanfam. 
Oh, my days. Oh, my days. If you've seen a worse spanking on a YouTube video or a Twitch stream, let me know. Because I think I'm about to take the record for worst defeat in the, in the game thus far this year. You know what? Let's, let's go defensive now. Let's go defensive. Let's just try and limit the pain here, yeah? Let's do that. And go very defensive. And then confirm the changes. Just over 10 minutes left. Marriott gets the ball, but of course he's all on his own. Spy rise now with the ball. Can he play it long? Nope. Parsons, he does. And Marriott, can he get us a consolation goal? He's in here. And he has. Marriott gets his 21st of the season. But yeah. Even I'm not so optimistic as to think we're going to get this back. Very nice ball there over the top. And Marriott was never going to make any mistake with that. Two and a half minutes left. Spy rides with the ball to Sheckleford. Into Parsons. And can he set Marriott up again? No, he can't. Fryer with the ball. And now Marriott. Marriott's in again. And always oh, hit the post and it's gone wide. Oh, but it was offside anyhow. Oh my good God. That was awful. 12 shots they had. 2R6. 8 on target. 2R2. But the big statistic is a 1 top and centre. 5-1. To Gateshead. We was down to 10 men for the last half hour. Uh, you were not good enough today. And now let's just click on. See if we have still got our job. And if we have we'll leave it there. And if we do still have our job. The next episode is going to be a season review. Uh, it doesn't look like we've been sacked yet. Five star gates a triumph. Yep. Stafford secure playoff spot. Yep, yep, yep. And so we're gonna click on for about two or three days. Just see what happens if we do get any news. Nothing yet. I might have got away with this. I may have got away with this. Okay, I think I've got away with it. I think I'm still in a job. So that's where we're gonna leave it. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please pop a like down below. All the likes really do help the channel out. It helps me out. It lets me know that you are enjoying the series and enjoying the videos. So please, please, please pop as many likes as you can down below. And subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. And follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, check out the Passion for FM website. Some awesome downloads and guides and resources. All that sort of good stuff is on that very, very awesome website. So please do check them out. And yep, guys, I'll be back tomorrow with the end of season awards. Not that I think any of the players deserve any. But we're going to be back with that end of season awards, end of season review. All that good stuff. And so, yeah, guys, I shall see you tomorrow. Arrivederci.